Hello! So today is the last day of Scorpio. Uh, I'm really excited. As always, new transit right around the corner. We got the sun in Sag. I think we're, we're going to focus more on this in the coming days, in the coming weeks. Um, but I do think it's really nice whenever we're moving into a new energy. It's time for the next chapter. The Scorpio season, as always, it, it's always, always good. There's always blessings. There's always gifts. And there's always challenges, too, with every transit. Um, I think with Scorpio, especially with the Mercury retrograde and the Mars retrograde that we've been experiencing during this time uh, that are now concluded, it's been a very deep time. Um, and that's that's beautiful. That's great. But it also, again, naturally, it's been challenging in certain ways, too. So I think that for this last day of Scorpio, the most important thing is to just really stay focused on what... Th with With this energy... With all fixed energies, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, they really just need to focus on one thing, usually. Maybe, maybe it's something else that's connected to it, but it's usually just one thing. What is the challenge? What is the fear? What is the dream, the goals? And if we focus on that, everything else just works out. It falls into place. It's it's nice in that way. Fixed energy is very focused. It's like a laser beam rather than like a mutable energy. It's like kind of like a shotgun or cardinal. That's, I don't know, some other metaphor using a, a gun. <laughs> but it's for fixed energy, it's really just really focused. So I for, I, for myself, um, yesterday I was really getting down of, man, I'm, I'm not where I want to be financially. I want to uh, be more responsible. I've been spending a lot of money and it's been good. It's been helping me. I, I've needed these things, but at the same time, I, I need to be a bit more focused, a bit more responsible. And so I took proactive action yesterday to ensure that that growth, that stability, that focus was achieved. And I feel fucking awesome today. And that's really the key here. With this last day of Scorpio, like we talked about yesterday, we also have the moon in Aquarius. And what we didn't mention was Aquarius is also fixed. So I think the key is with the sun and the Mercury Scorpio, Venus is about to go into Scorpio. We'll cover that in the coming days. Um, what are you feeling and why? Don't just dwell on the surface. With the transiting moon in Aquarius, again, we have a wonderful opportunity to get deep into our emotions. And the key here as always, is to embrace what we're feeling, to ask questions, to seek to get to the core. Um, don't play the victim because ultimately that's going to be robbing us of our self-agency to grow and to change. No matter what's happened, no matter what it is that we're focused on, no matter what that laser beam focus is seeking to accomplish or seeking to work through or whatever, identify it, verbalize it, put it into words. Uh, if possible, talk about it with a friend. That's a beautiful part of Aquarius energy, especially that moon. Seek to get insight. If you seek to get insight, you will experience breakthroughs and you will be able to put those insights into action. That's one of the best parts of having this transiting Mars in Aries and now it's direct. Yay! We've had this retrograde for, I think, from September 2nd until... Uh, what was it, November 13th, something like that. And we're now in the, the benefit period of, okay, for those two months, I had to learn patience. I had to learn what it is that I really need to focus on. I had to learn uh, how to handle my ego in, in good times and in challenging times. And now with Mars being direct, sure, it's still in the shadow period. Still, we need to be thinking of these themes. We need to be calm. We need to be centered we need to pay attention to our egos needs to other people's egos needs but at the same time it's time to move forward and i think especially with the sun moving into sag tomorrow that trine that's going to exist throughout the entire sag season because mars will be in aries until january 6th when it goes into taurus it's it's time to be to put the insights the depth the intensity that we've experienced this last month and even the month before that too with mars still being retrograde it's time to it's time to move forward it's time to be optimistic to find the silver lining in any kind of difficulty or pain or 
you know, let's not rush this. And again, where we are right now, where this is kind of the near future, where we are right now is we still need to focus. Uh, we need to embrace whatever it is that's challenging us, that's uh, uh, that we're afraid of, or or a goal that we're seeking to reach. But that is really nice to look forward to in the near future. Is we have a whole bunch of fire right around the corner, right around the corner. And fire is all about laughter, fun, uh, positivity. It doesn't mean that we need to pretend that difficult things don't exist. Uh, there's always suffering, as Buddha said, but there's always ways to sublimate that negativity, that suffering into positivity, into love, into compassion, into beautiful experiences that are really meaningful and good. So this is, this is what we're right on the cusp of, literally. And uh, it's already here in a sense, because again, that sun is right on the cusp, so that Sag energy is there. But I think for today, it's just good to not rush forward too much. Uh, just focus, focus, ask yourself what you're feeling, whether it's good or challenging, and um, work through it if it's challenging and if it's good, just keep augmenting what's good. Whatever is working, keep going with it. And whatever is not working, uh, really focus on it and you'll be able to make breakthroughs. Peace. As always, if you want some help, a little guide uh, on your, your path for breakthroughs, then feel free to reach out to me to get a reading and I'll be happy to read for you. Peace.